Popular culture, also called pop culture is generally recognized by members of a society as a set of the practices, beliefs and objects that are dominant or ubiquitous in a society at a given point in time. Popular culture also encompasses the activities and feelings produced as a result of interaction with these dominant objects. Heavily influenced in modern times by mass media, this collection of ideas permeates the everyday lives of people in a given society. Therefore, popular culture has a way of influencing an individual's attitudes towards certain topics. However, there are various ways to define pop culture. Because of this, popular culture is considered an empty conceptual category, or something that can be defined in a variety of conflicting ways by different people across different contexts. It is generally defined in contrast to other forms of culture such as folk culture, working class culture, or high culture, and also through different theoretical perspectives such as psychoanalysis, structuralism, postmodernism, and more. The most common pop culture categories are, entertainment such as movies, music, television and video games, sports, news as in people, places in the news, politics, fashion, clothes, technology, and slang. Popular culture is sometimes viewed by many people as being trivial and dumbed down in order to find consensual acceptance from or to attract attention amongst the mainstream. As a result, it comes under heavy criticism from various non-mainstream sources most notably from religious groups and from countercultural groups which deem it superficial, consumerist, sensationalist, or corrupt. History and definitions The term, popular culture, was coined in the 19th century or earlier. Traditionally, popular culture was associated with poor education and the lower classes, as opposed to the official culture and higher education of the upper classes. Victorian era Britain experienced social changes that resulted in increased literacy rates, and with the rise of capitalism and industrialization, people began to spend more money on entertainment. Labeling Penny Dreadfuls the Victorian equivalent of video games, The Guardian described Penny Fiction as Britain's first taste of mass-produced popular culture for the young, a growing consumer culture and an increased capacity for travel via the invention of railway. The first public railway, Stockton and Darlington Railway, opened in northeast England in 1825, created both a market for cheap popular literature, and the ability for it to be circulated on a large scale. The first penny serials were published in the 1830s to meet this demand. The stress in the distinction from official culture became more pronounced towards the end of the 19th century, a usage that became established by the interbellum period. From the end of World War II, following major cultural and social changes brought by mass media innovations, the meaning of popular culture began to overlap with those of mass culture, media culture, image culture, consumer culture, and culture for mass consumption. Social and cultural changes in the United States were a pioneer in this with respect to other Western countries. The abbreviated form, pop, for popular, as in pop music, dates from the late 1950s. Although terms, pop, and popular, are in some cases used interchangeably, and their meaning partially overlap, the term, pop, is narrower. Pop is specific of something containing qualities of mass appeal, while, popular, refers to what has gained popularity, regardless of its style. According to author John Story, there are six definitions of popular culture. The quantitative definition of culture has the problem that much high culture, e.g., television dramatizations of Jane Austen, is also popular. Pop culture is also defined as the culture that is left over when we have decided what high culture is. However, many works straddle the boundaries, e.g., William Shakespeare and Charles Dickens. A third definition equates pop culture with mass culture and ideas. This is seen as a commercial culture, mass produced for mass consumption by mass media. From a Western European perspective, this may be compared to American culture. Alternatively, pop culture can be defined as an authentic culture of the people, but this can be problematic as there are many ways of defining the people. Story argued that there is a political dimension to popular culture, Neo-Gramscian hegemony theory. Sees popular culture as a site of struggle between the resistance of subordinate groups in society and the forces of incorporation operating in the interests of dominant groups in society. A postmodernist approach to popular culture would 
no longer recognize the distinction between high and popular culture." Story claims that popular culture emerged from the urbanization of the Industrial Revolution. Studies of Shakespeare by Wyman, Barber, or Bristol, for example, locate much of the characteristic vitality of his drama in its participation in Renaissance popular culture, while contemporary practitioners like Dario Fo and John McGrath use popular culture in its Gramscian sense that includes ancient folk traditions. The Commedia dell'arte, for example, popular culture is constantly evolving and occurs uniquely in place and time. It forms currents and eddies, and represents a complex of mutually interdependent perspectives and values that influence society and its institutions in various ways. For example, certain currents of pop culture may originate from, or diverge into, a subculture, representing perspectives with which the mainstream popular culture has only limited familiarity. Items of popular culture most typically appeal to a broad spectrum of the public. Important contemporary contributions for understanding what popular culture means have been given by the German researcher Ronald Dauss, who studies the impact of extra-European cultures in North America, Asia, and especially in Latin America. Topic. Folklore Adaptations based on traditional folklore provide a source of popular culture. This early layer of cultural mainstream still persists today, in a form separate from mass-produced popular culture, propagating by word of mouth rather than via mass media, e.g. in the form of jokes or urban legend. With the widespread use of the Internet from the 1990s, the distinction between mass media and word of mouth has become blurred. Although the folkloric element of popular culture engages heavily with the commercial element, the public has its own tastes and it may not always embrace every cultural or subcultural item sold. Moreover, beliefs and opinions about the products of commercial culture spread by word of mouth, and become modified in the process and in the same manner that folklore evolves. Usage Many people say that popular culture is a tool that higher-ranking people in a society and elites who often control mass media and popular culture outlets use to control the people below them in society. It's also said that popular culture dulls the minds of the common man, making them more passive and easier to control, although popular culture can also be used as a means of rebellion against the ways and culture of dominant subcultures. Topic sources Sources of popular culture include, films television programs popular music sports corporations books no section radio no section video games no section. The internet no section topic films Films started massive popular culture. Topic television programs A television program is a segment of audiovisual content intended for broadcast other than a commercial, trailer, or other content not serving as attraction for viewership. Television programs may be fictional as in comedies and dramas, or non-fictional as in documentary, news and reality television. It may be topical as in the case of a local newscast and some made-for-television movies, or historical as in the case of many documentaries and fictional series. They can be primarily instructional or educational, or entertaining as is the case in situation comedy and game shows. Topic music Popular music is music with wide appeal that is typically distributed to large audiences through the music industry. These forms and styles can be enjoyed and performed by people with little or no musical training. It stands in contrast to both art music and traditional or folk music. Art music was historically disseminated through the performances of written music, although since the beginning of the recording industry, it is also disseminated through recordings. Traditional music forms such as early blues songs or hymns were passed along orally, or to smaller, local audiences. Topic sports Sports include all forms of competitive physical activity or games which, through casual or organized participation, aim to use, maintain or improve physical ability and skills while providing enjoyment to participants, and in some cases, entertainment for spectators. Topic corporate branding Corporate branding refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity, as opposed to specific products or services. Topic see also topic Notes topic References topic Further reading Duncan, Barry 1988. Mass Media and Popular Culture. Toronto, ONT, Harcourt, Brace & Co. Canada. ISBN 0-7747-1262-7. Rosenberg, Bernard, and David Manning White, Joint. E.D.S. 
Mass Culture, The Popular Arts in America, New York, Free Press of Glencoe, 1957. Cowan, Tyler, For Some Developing Countries, America's Popular Culture is Resistible. The New York Times, the 22nd of February 2007, Sec. C. P. 3. Furio, Joanne, The Significance of MTV and Rap Music in Popular Culture. The New York Times, the 29th of December 1991, Sec. V. P. 2. Topic. External links.